Good evening folks, following on from Harry's earlier video on how to uh, transfer audio files from an Android device to your Jetty radio, I thought I'd do a very quick one just to show the process for an iOS or an Apple device. To do it you need the Apple Lightning to USB adapter. Uh, so I have just my Lightning connector plugged into the, into the port in the bottom and then into the, my iPhone 12. So, it starts charging. Now you take your USB lead that you normally use for your radio updates, plug it in. Do I want to start the transmitter? Yes. Jetty DS16. Do I want to connect the USB? Automation mode enabled. Connect USB? Yes. So we'll just turn the volume down. I'm not as polished as this as Harry is. Okay, so I'll unlock the phone. If I go back now, this is the file browser that is now on Apple phones. As you can see, that I have on my iPhone, iCloud Drive, Google Drive, and just in here, we're going to have, in a wee minute, a Jetty DS16. There we go, just in time. It does take a wee while to load up, but when it does load up, it'll show all the usual things that you would get when you plug your phone or whenever you plug your radio into your computer as you can see I have a lot of screenshots I need to delete anyway to transfer a file so my files in my Google Drive it's this file here which is Goblin Goblin 770 okay so I'm gonna hold that in I'm gonna move the file I'm gonna move it to my Jetty DS 16 now, it copies it to the root directory of the radio, but we're going to fix that in a wee moment. Okay, now, if we go back and we go into the radio this time, So there's our file up here. We need it in our audio folder, so we'll hold it in again. If we want to move it. This time, it's offering me all of the fol folders already inside the radio. We want to put it in the audio folder. Move. I'm not exactly sure why it didn't offer the full folds full file structure the first time around okay so now if we go into the radio we'll soon see if that audio file is in the right place so escape menu and we will go to advanced properties assigns on event and we'll add one So now we have to see if Goblin 770 is here. If we scroll down here, hopefully it'll be in here. And there it is. Goblin 770. Oh. Might as well turn the volume on. Goblin 770. Hopefully that helps you. Thank you. Bye bye.